So if you want to use JavaScript to print to the console of your web browser, you literally use console.log and then whatever it is that you want to print out. But if you want to learn about some other ways that you can print out to the console with JavaScript, keep watching and I'll show you some more handy functions. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to JavaScript Snippets, a series of tutorials where we look at some of the most essential things that you'll need to do as a junior developer with JavaScript. If you have a second, subscribe to the channel below so that you don't miss out on any of these essential JavaScript snippet tutorials. So this tutorial is going to be super simple and it's just printing stuff out to the console and we've already seen that we can just say console.log and pass in a string to the function. And when the code is run, it will literally repeat that string back out onto the console as we see on the right of the screen. So printing out a string is okay, but it's not massively helpful. We more likely want to use console.log to inspect the value of a variable. So that's pretty simple to do if we just create a variable to store some value. And we can just use another console.log to print out that variable to see what value it actually holds. So you can see every time we call console.log we actually start a new line on the console. So if you don't want to do that, you might want to actually concatenate those strings together. So just basically add the variable name, or rather the value in the my name variable to the string that's already in the console log function. You can also achieve the same effect by using a comma and actually passing in multiple values into the log function. And you can pass as many strings, variables, numbers, whatever you like into there and it will print them all on the same line for you. The other alternative, of course, is to use an ES6 template literal if you have ES6 available to you in the browser that you're working with. And that template literal will create a whole string that will be printed out onto the console for you. So console log, it's pretty straightforward, but there are some other functions that you can use to output data to the command line. So console.log is pretty straightforward. You just pass a value and it prints it back out to the console for you. But there are some other functions that can achieve the same thing, but in a slightly different manner. And I'll show you how. For example, we have another function called warn, which as it suggests is short for warning. So if we pass in a, a string such as a warning to that dot warn function, you can see when the code runs in the console, we have a little exclamation mark to show that there's a problem or, or something that needs the user's attention. For example, you could be notifying another developer of some deprecation in your code or something that's not really critical to the actual page running, but may help them to troubleshoot any problems that they're having with your site. Another function is console.info. And you can see calling console.info pretty much is the same as console.log, but it may display differently depending on what type of browser you're running your code in. This typically isn't used that much really, but it's nice to know that it's there especially in your code if you want to categorize what type of message you're displaying to the console. Another way of displaying messages to the console as well is using console.error. And you can see when that code runs, we get the red X on the console and the actual message itself is highlighted to make it very obvious that something's happened. And this is a great way to alert other developers or people who might be troubleshooting your site or even general users that are poking around in the console on their browser to alert them that something's gone wrong with your application or your page and it needs some serious attention. One final function you can call to print the console with JavaScript is to use the console.table function. But first of all, we need some data to actually display in our table. So let's create an array that has some words in it. And then call console.table and pass in the array of words to it. And you can see in the output in the console, we have a nice table with the format of the index and the actual value that's inside of the array. So this can make it easier to track down what value is associated at what point in an array. And you can actually pass in objects as well to look at the various keys and values. And it's not something that you would intentionally show to the user, but it can be useful to debug or quickly inspect values that you've got stored in your variables. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all those essential JavaScript snippet tutorials.